Hello and welcome back. So last example we understand how can you fetch data from server using react.js but only thing is we have used the old fashion that is uh, uh, a promise based call that is then and catch. Uh, let's apply a new uh, feature of uh, javascript that is async await. So I just use the same example which we made in the last video. Okay. So what I do is I will comment this the previous logic I comment so if you come in you don't have data just empty because this is the only one which is fetching data if you don't have it then it will be empty array so empty data is there okay so now it will I want to get this data back using a different approach so what I do is uh, let user data is equal to um, you can actually take an asynchronous function let's say async you can take the asynchronous function async await it means you have to take the function itself is async and then you say let user data is equal to await await user service dot get all users that's it okay so user service dot get all users you get the user data and this particular user data you're gonna attach to um, what's called uh, your state but before you do that you can write some try catch try catch for error handling if, if something goes wrong when fetching data you can use of catch okay so I made it in the try block uh, user data await so it just wait for fetching data from server once as soon as the data received from server then you can attach to user data variable and once it is there in user data I want to set to my state how you set to state simply set state in this a function where users uh, will be my user data because that's your user data you receive Oh, one problem is there. This is not data directly, right? It is response. Okay, just say response, and you just say response dot data. Uh, this is the perfect one. Correct response dot data because previously also we got response dot data. Fine. In something goes wrong, you can make a console log as of now. Let's say error. That's it. Okay. So when the page loads, when the page loads. I'm trying to fetch data from server and attach to my state okay and one final thing is you created a variable in this user effect so you must have to clear that response okay when the component has been removed from DOM you have to clear the resources so let's return another function this is the component did will unmount so in this so response Maybe you can't access that, right? That is in try, try block. Okay. So I can say like, uh, you may take like this, let response is equal to some empty object. And you can take that response to be added with data and that response will be, I take it to null. Okay, this way you can clear the things. You can take outside variable because, uh, because the block scope so you can't access so just take it a variable which assigns with data and assign to state and when component has been removed from DOM this is component will unmount okay I write here component will unmount you clear the resources okay and this is for a component did mount okay so now check the got data back okay so this is a new syntax uh, generally we supposed to use the sync await um, I hope that's clear very simple uh, so let's meet in the next video for another concepts thank you